Well, the, these pictures here you have on the left, that's me when I was fighting back in Madison Square Garden, back in the days, in the amateur days, uh, when I had to fight twice the same night in Madison Square Garden, I knocked one opponent out and I stopped the other one. Then, of course, some of the pictures of some of the great ones that I've refereed throughout the years. It's a nice wall of fame. You see some of the great ones up there. Mike Tyson, uh, Larry Holmes, uh, Poster, and De La Hoya, Whitaker, Holyfield, Tyson, uh, just to name a few, uh, Trinidad. And it's just a lot of history on these walls here throughout my days as a boxing referee. And of course, I use my gym as a studio for my uh, ESPN boxing analyst that I am. And of course, uh, the fans want to see a little bit of how Joe Cortez stays in shape. Well, I have my own <laughs> boxing ring and I, I work out a little bit here. And uh, hopefully that somebody referees can uh, one day end up doing the same and stay, keep themselves in good shape and keep themselves focused to have a better career in boxing. And we are standing in the ring right now. Right here, this is my, my domain, my boxing ring. This is where I do all my uh, ring mechanics, my stay in shape as a referee when I was refereeing. And this is where I bring some of the great referees, Tony Weeks, Russell Mora, Kenny Bayless, uh, Mark Nelson, Benji Estevez, just to a few of the referees that I've been working with throughout the years to make sure that boxing is in better hands. And it looks like it is. And then we are going to head down. Now, is that a king chair that I see? That king chair was used by uh, Floyd Mayweather when he ended up uh, fighting Miguel Cotto. And uh, they used that chair during the press conference and of course, after I retired from boxing, I knew the guy who went to the chair out to the, uh, to the hotel, and I ended up uh, getting the chair as a gift from the gentleman who, uh, who leased out the chair to the uh, MGM for their publicity shots. And of course, when you want to be champion, you want to be king, this is what you put on, and you say, I'm fair, but I'm firm. I'm the champ. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and then, what about this, Sylvester Stallone? Sylvester Stallone. Well, Sylvester Stallone, we use it for workout, and this is where you stay in shape a little bit, and then when you get a little bit, get a little frustration, <laughs> you want to work out a little bit, oh, you give no. him a good left hook and make sure he stays in shape. That's why I cut his arms off so he doesn't hit me back. <laughs> <laughs> But of course, you have the speed bag. This is where uh, you try to stay in shape. You get the speed bag, goes off the point. That's a knockout. Wow. <laughs> that is. <laughs> and then what about some of these? Well, posters? some of the posters, like I said before, when I retired, September 15, 2012. Canelo Alvarez was to lead the my last championship fight here in Las Vegas. And I wanted to go out on top with uh, another championship fight. After getting inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame, I felt what better way to go out a year later after I got inducted. So it's been an honor, it's been uh, a pleasure being a referee, one of the greatest moments of my career. My guy and I the day before we got inducted into oh. the Hall of Fame, and uh, he was just coming out of the out of the ring there. I'm, I was ready to go into the ring. He was just coming out. He put on there to my dear friend, I'll always love you, Mike Tyson. And you know, it's uh, been a great run. Here's a picture of my last fight. The night I retired, my, uh, Canelo, Canelo, Alvarez, Canelo Alvarez with Joselito Lopez. Oscar said, Joe, you're retiring, you're the champion. They put the belt on me, so, you know, that was oh, a great honor. How nice. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, yeah. Yes, that was his last fight against Kevin McBride. I'm taking two points off him for intentionally <laughs> headbutting his opponent. And here's the uh, Rocky Balboa movie, of which I was a referee in. The last Rocky Balboa movie. 
Do the fighters ever get mad at you? Uh, I'm sure they get mad at me for whatever reason, but uh, sometimes they get mad because they did something wrong and I have to take a point or something. Yeah. But uh, you know, I do my, my job. Very few fighters get mad at me, and if they do, you know what? That's part of the game. In this business, to be a referee, you got to have thick skin. If you don't okay. have it, get out. And what's your favorite on this, Muhammad Ali? Well, Muhammad Ali, of course, one of the great ones. Back yes. in the days when I, I was working down in Puerto Rico in the hotels, I was helping him out with the fans, getting some autographs for the fans. And, of course, you have uh, people say, Joe, you know, sometimes you got to really get involved. Well, right here, you got Joe Calzaghe against Bernard Hopkins. I had to physically uh, separate them apart because they were throwing punches at the bell. And it was one of Calzaghe's uh, last fights before he retired. And you have a machine here, a bicycle. Yeah, you try to stay in a little bit of shape. You get on this bicycle, you, you get on it, you work out 10, 15 minutes a day. That keeps you in shape. You try to keep your, your legs in good condition and keep that weight down a little bit. Over here, you have the hand wraps of my first professional fight as a fighter. These are the hand wraps that I used back in December 3rd, 1962 out in Bakersfield, California. Joe Cortez, 117, three quarter pound winner. First pro fight in Bakersfield, California against Tony Salgado. I won by a technical knockout, third round, one minute and 51 seconds. Wow. And this is uh, Trinity Drag, Joe Kazagi, Ben Hopkins. You know, they got inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame, uh, 2014. Uh, I got inducted, we are showing off our ring. I got inducted 2011. It was a great honor with a great group of individuals. And is there anything else you want to say to your fans? People say, Joe, how do I become a boxing referee? I say, you got to start the same way I did. I started with the Police Athletic League in New York, in the Bronx. Started working with the young kids, worked at amateur programs. Once they start working amateur program, you get involved with the Golden, Glo Golden Gloves. Golden Gloves, they just think you're doing good. You work at least five, six, seven, eight years in, in the amateurs before you even consider going pro. Then you go to your local gym and see who can get you on the program. And hopefully, uh, down the line, they recognize your skills and do like I did. You know, you, I got recruited by the New York State Athletic Commission back in 1990, uh, 1977. And then I got recruited out to Las Vegas here in 1992. Uh, and so I did 35 years as a referee. I think you can do it. My dream was to do just one world championship fight, but I gave it all I had, and thank God I made it to the top. So can you. And there you have it from the legendary Joe Cortez. Um, he's going to teach me or watch me uh, hit the speed bag, hopefully, or actually hit Sylvester Stallone a little bit. Um, sorry, Sylvester. This is hard. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you got a knockout point, girl. <laughs> there you go. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sylvester's time. Am I positioned go right? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go for it. Oh, take his hat off. What a knockout, what a knockout. Oh, Woo. that hurts. He's saying that hurts, wow. I bruised him. You bruised him, you bruised him. Awesome, well my arms are tired, but yeah, you just saw the tour of legendary boxing referee Joe Cortez's beautiful gym and boxing ring. Um, I'm your host, Helen Yi, and you can always follow me at Helen Yi Sports. I'm signing out. I'm tired. <laughs>